Hey guys, it's Melanie and in this box I have my son's curriculum for um, this school year. He is going to be in first grade, which is insane to me. Um, and we chose to do an online charter school this year. So it's kind of like a public school. Um, a lot of charter schools that are online you can kind of like pick and choose some of your curriculum. Some of them you have to do certain things. It just depends. Um, but they sent his book for this year, so I wanted to show you guys, um, you know, what's inside the box. There's some pretty cool stuff. There's a lot of, like, manip manipulatives and things like that, so um, I like that because he definitely learns better with the manipulatives because he is, you know, such a young guy. So, anyway, I'm excited to show you guys this. There is a lot in here, believe it or not, for first grade. So, anyway, let's get to the video. thing this came packaged but we took it out of the package because Logan was dying to play with it um, and it's a letter board now I have to say we've purchased something similar to this um, at the dollar spot at Target of all places but this is a little different I'll show you so this is like a little magnetic board this is magnetic as well let me open this up and if you can see let me give you guys a close-up of this we can close up these are all um, magnets and like these are like endings and then you can like make words up here or you can use like this guy. Come on. Hi sis, um, which is super cool. But I do want to say we found something similar to this. Ah. Hi sweetheart. Ah. <laughs> Hi baby. Ah. Sissy just tried, my two year old just tried to like come and attack the camera. Her daddy's got her happy I think now. But anyway, we found something similar to this um, at the dollar spot at Target, which was like, it's just uh, we, we make like a four letter word. It doesn't have endings and different things like that. But it's kind of similar. I think they still have them there. So if you're looking for something like that, I think it'd be right on board. Um, but I like how this has the endings. And this is from Foundations Wilson Language Basics. So anyway, that came. Alrighty, I'm going to show you guys all of the manipulatives and things that were sent um, before I show you guys um, the curriculum books. I just think it's pretty cool to see what they sent. Um, hi, sweetheart. You see what's going on? They sent us, um, these look like some tens, ones, and a hundred block, some little circle chips, um, and then a little pouch of money. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, we've purchased money similar to this at the dollar store. Um, and then these look like bingo chips you can buy from dollar store. And then I'm not really sure where you can buy these for inexpensive. If you um, do know, I might want to buy some more of these. So please let us know in the comments below for me or for anybody else that's watching. Um, they also sent these, which are just like your basic counting blocks. I swear by these. Um, he loves these very much. You can make them into like, you know, groups of 10, 100 or just counting. Really great for addition and things like that. And then these, these are my son's favorite things, these little tanagram things for like different shapes. He loves these very, very much. I mean, he, he's known his shapes for a very long time, but just, you know, like building things and like making different things with them. He really, really likes these. And my daughter who is two likes these just to, you know, reinforce her shapes. She knows um, almost all of them. But anyway, um, we love these things. Something I thought was really cool he did not get last year. Um, it was like, this is a sticker. It's like if you were in public school, it would be on your desk. Super cool. I don't know where you would find one of these. Maybe Dollar Store would have something similar. Um, but I super de duper. I'm Barney, you guys. Love this. They also sent him a ruler. Um, but I thought that was a really cool idea. And it has like a little hundreds chart, which I thought was really neat also. Um, like a B and a D. And then a ruler. I don't know. I really like this. I like that it has a ruler as well. i got to figure out where on his desk we're going to place that. Um, they sent flashcards. Um, these are like his vocabulary words for the whole year. Um, they sent some last year as well for kindergarten. Just want to kind of give you guys a kind of a little example of some of the first grade words. Some of these are repeats from kindergarten. Um, I thought about doing like a vocabulary word video. If that makes sense, like for first grade. Anyway, that came. They're just laminated, and this says Dolch first grade. I'm not really sure. 
Um, I'm sure you can look up, you know, like what are the best first grade words to learn. I'll try, I think I might do a video on these. But anyway, they're just laminated uh, paper cutouts. They also sent another, um, a few things. These are laminated. They did this last year, and they also sent a couple dry erase markers. So because this is laminated, you can use the dry erase markers on there. I'll show you real quick if I can get this cap off. You can use a dry erase marker, and then it will come right off. Super interesting, super cool. I didn't really realize that, I guess, before. It makes sense, but I never really thought about that. So you can do any kind of chart you want, print it out, and then um, just laminate it and use dry erase marker, which I think would be really cool to make some things for like the car, or the restaurant. Anyway, there's a hundred chart, a tens and ones for like adding, and you could they use their um, manipulative uh, counting blocks for those. Um, and then a 10 frame work mat. I think that's all. Um, that came and they're just like bound together. You wouldn't necessarily have to do that um, But you know you can you can count by tens count by fives um, They've been working a lot with those, but I mean this was just mind-blowing. It's like super easy and simple I think I might do like a easy video on like showing things you can do like this like simple things I didn't really think about before just in case you guys haven't if you know anything I can add to that please let me know because I really might do something like that anyway that came if you guys can hear that my two-year-old is in the background um, my husband tried to keep her in the other room but she just wants to be here with mommy and she's just playing with her dollhouse so you guys know how that is so I want to show you all of the books I have to say there are quite a few books I'm going to show you how many books there are woo girl thanks for moving the light closer much appreciated and then I'm going to show you what's in the book after I show you how many there are I need that to be closer wow. actually alrighty so I think we're good to go I'm going to show you guys how many books there are and then I'm going to show you guys what the books are because there are a ton of books here for first grade, I feel like. And last time they sent quite a few books and then they ended up sending more. Yes, baby! All right, so kind of insane, right? So I'm going to show you the different books. Some of them are like actual workbooks and some of them are like these. And I think they only had these last year. Is this focused, you guys? I'm going to refocus just to make sure. Um, sorry if you guys can hear my husband cooking in the background, but I think this is better than a voiceover because it's like real time. Anyway, um, this is like a morning, this is, a lot of these are kind of like, they printed out just worksheets and then they made a bind for it, which you can totally print out worksheets and then put it, I hear you, in a binder or something. Anyway, this is their morning work, just to kind of peek at what it looks like. Um, they just kind of do different things to go with whatever they are working on. Um, in the morning at least that's what they did in kindergarten then they have a writing journal this is the same as they had last year in kindergarten and this is they sell these at Dollar Tree for a dollar same exact thing and like a little composition notebook same thing at Staples for two dollars so if you're homeschooling instead I would totally recommend um, getting one of those because they do work a lot in things like this um, this is a poetry journal it's basically like um, little poems you know just easy for them to read very short sweet simple these are easy for my son because he hates sitting down when he has to read he can read so well but hates sitting down to read stories whenever he's not interested and then you can write whatever write it out or write something about it depending on whatever um you know anyway there's that they do that and that's kind of like an inch thick i think this is um, a phonics book. This is a little bit different than what they had last year in first grade. Um, this is, I mean, you can get all kinds of workbooks kind of like this from Dollar Tree, but, um, you know, online, different things like that. In the first grade, you know, it's nothing too intense. Um, you know, phonics, matching the word with the picture, finding a missing letter in the word, really super simple, um, you know, like, writing what three letter word I'm guessing this is say the picture's name and then tap out the sounds oh and then write the sound on the line that kind of stuff um, simple things um, and then on to the regular just workbooks this is all new to us this year so this is a this is my foundations journal um, guessing maybe you'll draw a picture and write I'm not really sure what this will be because it looks a lot like the other journal so I guess we'll see what that is this says student notebook and there seems to be, um, oh, I see. 
the NK words, bank and pink, I guess we shall see. And then you write out some things with syllables. Um, the next book looks kind of the same, but it is a composition book. And it looks like a lot of um, just writing. We'll see what that is. And then we have three math books. Here's the kicker, you guys. Um, I know a lot of people that are homeschooling and not doing online school. They're against Common Core. I'm not, I don't really know too much about it. I guess we'll find out this year because this is the year. I'm not against him learning it because I want him to be, you know, up to par with all the other kids and learning every single thing that he can learn. But, like, this is his math book, by the way, for first grade. And then this is a Common Core. I don't know if it's all Common Core, but it says Common Core. And then this is Common Core Reading. I guess it's the instruction book, Mathematics Instruction, Reading Instruction. I'm not really sure. That's actually thicker than this. So I don't know what to expect to this, to be honest. Um, it's from Ready, which they do the iReady online. So I'm guessing it's the same company. It looks like the same logo. I'm going to give you guys a peek on the inside. This is just Mathematics. This is a lot of the same, you know, basic things, counting with the uh, tens, things like this, counting up. Yeah. Um, a lot of this you could find online or you can find the workbooks. Um, it looks a lot like the same thing. Um, actually, a lot of this kind of looks like you would find on, uh, I want to say it was ABC Mouse. But anyway, you guys get the point, right? Yes? Um, and then the eye ready looks something like this. I haven't had a chance to look through it a lot. It looks like there's some instruction things in the back. Um, maybe the, see this. This can't be all common. Well, maybe I don't know. Draw how you. Uh, uh huh. Draw draw how you found four equal parts. So that's just symmetry there. Um, and then I don't know if it's just different, like introduction. Very slowly getting into. Common Core or what we shall see once we actually look through this in detail. But there is a kind of a, a look at this. And then the Common Core reading instruction, I'm not exactly sure if it's just a different type of book. What is this? Is it a reading book? Is it a math book? I don't know what to think. Is it just called Common Core because they do Common Core? Key ideas and details. Um, That's ants. Ants can make bridges. I didn't know that. I just learned something from a first grade book. I can't believe my son's in first grade now. Oh, this is like describe a setting. So hmm, maybe this is just like a math or not a math book. Anyway, there's a peek at that. And that is it. So this is literally all of his books. Can you guys see? For first grade. Alrighty, guys, so that is it. If you want to know um, anything about how we created this homeschool space in our living room and our homeschool space, um, we have like a closet in the office. Um, those are linked below. And other curriculum, like we put together curriculum to learn certain things like states, dinosaurs, things like that. I'll link them below if you have curriculum, you need curriculum ideas or a homeschool space. Um, but that is it. Please stay and subscribe. I do homeschooling schooling videos pretty often and tons of DIYs and things like that and travel videos. You guys know the drill. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. It means the world to me. And please stay and subscribe. All right, bye, all of you.